partnership. Articles in the civil code under partnership that were asked in the bar more than once. Contract of partnership. Article 8041. When any partner retires or dies, and the business is continued under any of the conditions set forth in the preceding article, or in Article 1837, second paragraph, number 2, without any settlement of accounts as between him or his estate and the person or partnership continuing the business, unless otherwise agreed, he or his legal representative as against such person or partnership may have the value of his interest at the date of dissolution ascertained and shall receive as an ordinary creditor an amount equal to the value of his interest in the dissolved partnership with interest, or, at his option or at the option of his legal representative, in lieu of interest, the profits attributable to the use of his right in the property of the dissolved partnership, provided that the creditors of the dissolved partnership as against the separate creditors, or the representative of the retired or deceased partner, shall have priority on any claim arising under this article, as provided Article 8040, third paragraph. Article 1833. Where the dissolution is caused by the act, death or insolvency of a partner, each partner is liable to his co-partners for his share of any liability created by any partner acting for the partnership as if the partnership had not been dissolved unless 1. The dissolution being by act of any partner, the partner acting for the partnership had knowledge of the dissolution, or 2. The dissolution being by the death or insolvency of a partner, the partner acting for the partnership had knowledge or notice of the death or insolvency. Obligations of the partners among themselves. Article 1785. When the partnership for a fixed term or particular undertaking is continued after the termination of such term or particular undertaking without any express agreement, the rights and duties of the partners remain the same as they were at such termination so far as is consistent with the partnership at will. A continuation of the business by the partners or such of them as habitually acted therein during the term, without any settlement or liquidation of the partnership affairs, is prima facie evidence of a continuation of the partnership. Obligations of the partners with regard to third persons. Article 1816. All partners, including industrial ones, shall be liable pro rata with all their property and after all the partnership assets have been exhausted, for the contracts which may be entered into in the name and for the account of the partnership, under its signature and by a person authorized to act for the partnership. However, any partner may enter into a separate obligation to perform a partnership contract. Article 1829 on dissolution the partnership is not terminated, but continues until the winding up of partnership affairs is completed. Article 1835. The dissolution of the partnership does not of itself discharge the existing liability of any partner. A partner is discharged from any existing liability upon dissolution of the partnership by an agreement to that effect between himself the partnership creditor and the person or partnership continuing the business, and such agreement may be inferred from the course of dealing between the creditor having knowledge of the dissolution and the person or partnership continuing the business. The individual property of a deceased partner shall be liable for all obligations of the partnership incurred while he was a partner, but subject to the prior payment of his separate debts. Article 1789 an industrial partner cannot engage in business for himself, unless the partnership expressly permits him to do so, and if he should do so, the capitalist partners may either exclude him from the firm or avail themselves of the benefits which he may have obtained in violation of this provision, with a right to damages in either case. Rights and Obligations of Partners Among Themselves Article 1801 if two or more partners have been entrusted with the management of the partnership without specification of their respective duties, or without a stipulation that one of them shall not act without the consent of all the others, each one may separately execute all acts of administration, 
but if any of them should oppose the acts of the others, the decision of the majority shall prevail. In case of a tie, the matter shall be decided by the partners owning the controlling interest. Article 1830. Dissolution is caused. 1. Without violation of the agreement between the partners. a. By the termination of the definite term or particular undertaking specified in the agreement. b. By the express will of any partner, who must act in good faith, when no definite term or particular is specified. c. By the express will of all the partners who have not assigned their interests or suffered them to be charged for their separate debts either before or after the termination of any specified term or particular undertaking. d. By the expulsion of any partner from the business bona fide in accordance with such a power conferred by the agreement between the partners. 2. In contravention of the agreement between the partners, where the circumstances do not permit a dissolution under any other provision of this article, by the express will of any partner at any time. 3. By any event which makes it unlawful for the business of the partnership to be carried on or for the members to carry it on in partnership. 4. When a specific thing which a partner had promised to contribute to the partnership, perishes before the delivery, in any case by the loss of the thing, when the partner who contributed it having reserved the ownership thereof, has only transferred to the partnership the use or enjoyment of the same but the partnership shall not be dissolved by the loss of the thing when it occurs after the partnership has acquired the ownership thereof. 5. By the death of any partner. 6. By the insolvency of any partner or of the partnership. 7. By the civil interdiction of any partner. 8. By decree of court under the following article. Article 1813. A conveyance by a partner of his whole interest in the partnership does not of itself dissolve the partnership, or, as against the other partners in the absence of agreement, entitle the assignee, during the continuance of the partnership, to interfere in the management or administration of the partnership business or affairs, or to require any information or account of partnership transactions, or to inspect the partnership books but it merely entitles the assignee to receive in accordance with his contract the profits to which the assigning partner would otherwise be entitled. However, in case of fraud in the management of the partnership, the assignee may avail himself of the usual remedies. In case of a dissolution of the partnership, the assignee is entitled to receive his assignor's interest or and may require an account from the day only of the last account agreed to by all the partners. Obligations of Partnership, Partnership to Third Person Article 1816. All partners, including industrial ones, shall be liable pro rata with all their property and after all the partnership assets have been exhausted, for the contracts which may be entered into in the name and for the account of the partnership, under its signature and by a person authorized to act for the partnership. However, any partner may enter into a separate obligation to perform a partnership contract. Article 1829. On dissolution the partnership is not terminated, but continues until the winding up of partnership affairs is completed. Article 1841. When any partner retires or dies, and the business is continued under any of the conditions set forth in the preceding article, or in Article 1837, second paragraph, number 2, without any settlement of accounts as between him or his estate and the person or partnership continuing the business, unless otherwise agreed, he or his legal representative as against such person or partnership may have the value of his interest at the date of dissolution ascertained and shall receive as an ordinary creditor an amount equal to the value of his interest in the dissolved partnership with interest, or, at his option or at the option of his legal representative, in lieu of interest, the profits attributable to the use of his right in the property of the dissolved partnership, provided that the creditors of the dissolved partnership as against the separate creditors, or the representative of the retired or deceased partner, shall have priority on any claim arising under this article, as provided Article 1840, 
third paragraph. Article 1785. When a partnership for a fixed term or particular undertaking is continued after the termination of such term or particular undertaking without any express agreement, the rights and duties of the partners remain the same as they were at such termination, so far as is consistent with the partnership at will. A continuation of the business by the partners or such of them as habitually acted therein during the term, without any settlement or liquidation of the partnership affairs, is prima facie evidence of a continuation of the partnership.